in the thylakoid membranes various pigment molecules along with associated proteins form functional sets or clusters called as photosystems or pigment systems photosystems are multimolecular pigment protein complexes consisting of number 1 approximately 200 to 400 pigment molecules number 2 associated proteins and number 3 redox carriers the pigment molecules include different types of chlorophylls carotenes and xanthophylls in a photosystem numerous pigment molecules are associated with different proteins non covalently in a highly specific manner to form functional unit in higher plants there are two separate photosystems photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 each photosystem consists of a reaction center and an antenna complex the antenna complex which consists of variable number of chlorophylls and carotenoids along with different proteins is responsible for energy transfer whereas the reaction center is associated with electron transfer and comparison between photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 both photosystems 1 and 2 are multimolecular pigment protein complexes present in the thylakoid membranes in photosystem 1 the reaction center chlorophyll is p700 It is a unique molecule of chlorophyll A thought to be present as a dimer. It absorbs maximum at a wavelength 700 nanometer, so its name is P700. Major components of PS1 reaction center are organized around two major proteins, PSAA and PSAB. other minor proteins that are associated with photosystem 1 are labeled from c to n in addition photosystem 1 is also associated with a chlorophyll ao phyloquinone a1 and iron sulfur centers in case of photosystem 2 the reaction center chlorophyll is p680 It is a unique molecule of chlorophyll A. It absorbs maximum at a wavelength of 680 nanometers. So its name is P680. The reaction center of photosystem 2 consists of two membrane proteins D2 and D1, which are associated irreversibly with various component. such as the reaction center chlorophyll p680 pyophytin quinone a and an oxygen evolving complex the core antenna in photosystem 2 consists of two chlorophyll protein complexes one is cp47 and the other is cp43 Each core antenna consists of about 20 to 25 molecules of chlorophyll A. Whereas in case of photosystem 1, there is a single core antenna named as CP1. In addition, photosystem 1 has a light harvesting complex known as LSC1. Whereas in photosystem 2, The light harvesting complex is LSC2. Both light harvesting complex act as extended antenna system. They absorb additional light energy and they transfer it to the reaction center by inductive resonance. Both the core antenna and the light harvesting complex They never participate in the photochemical redox reactions. 
their main function is to absorb light energy of different wavelengths which is then transferred to the reaction center by inductive resonance or radiationless energy transfer. Light harvesting complex 1 and 2 together accounts for as much as 70% of the total chloroplast pigment including all of the chlorophyll B. Light harvesting complex 1 is relatively small. It is rather tightly associated with the pore photosystem. It has a chlorophyll A to B ratio of 4 by 1. LSC2 on the other hand contain about 50 to 60 percent of the total chlorophyll. It has a chlorophyll A to B ratio of 1.2. It contains most of the chlorophyll B and xanthophylls. Both light harvesting complex and the pore antenna they function to absorb light energy of different wavelengths which is then transferred to the reaction center by inductive resonance. Photosystem 1 preferentially absorbs far red light of wavelength greater than 680 nanometer, whereas Photosystem 2 preferentially absorbs the red light of wavelength 680 nanometer. Photosystem 1 it produces a strong reductant and a weak oxidant. The reductant is capable of reducing NADP plus to NADPH by the flavoprotein ferredoxin NADP plus reductase. Photosystem 2 on the other hand produces a strong oxidant and a reductant which is weaker than the one produced by Photosystem 1. Photosystem 2 oxidizes water to molecular oxygen in the thylakoid lumen. In the process protons are released to the lumen. The reduced product of Photosystem 2 is plus to hydroquinone. Photosystems 1 are almost exclusively present in the stroma lamella and also at the edges of grana lamella. Photosystem 2 on the other hand are predominantly present in the oppressed regions of grana lamella. Photosystem 1 is involved in both cyclic and non-cyclic electron transport, whereas Photosystem 2 is involved in only non-cyclic electron transport. These are the differences between Photosystem 1 and 2.